In recent news, rapper Joe Budden has responded to a claim made by DJ Academics that Young Miami, of the group City Girls, was a side chick to P. Diddy. Joe Budden, who is known for his commentary on hip-hop culture, expressed his understanding that polyamory is not for everyone, and that most people are not able to handle the complexities of such a relationship. What, what Young Miami gonna do? Make him stop? Okay, but that's the... That's operating under the idea that she wants that. What if she's literally like, I'm just having as much she fun don't as have he is. That's other what choice. he asked you. I huh? said, if yo, you're here, what you're going to want, you're going to, even if you don't want it, you're going to want it. You're going to act like you want it. She you're don't not have to necessarily see, you, act like she want it, but it I, could be a my way or the highway type of situation. Mm-hmm. And so you're going to pick the ride down the highway. Listen, when she got mad at Act for calling her a side girl and made whatever moves she needed to make behind the scenes to make sure that stopped happening. That told me anything I need to hear. See, because if y'all be, really be liberated mm. and y'all, hey, uh, this is what it is. He got bitches. I got niggas. We understand each other. We go to church. We do this. That then, don't make me the side girl, though. So she could have felt some sort of way. Well, why? Because who's the main girl? Don't no, matter. He it, never said none of this. So that's, that's my point. I'm, I'm not saying who's a side and who's a main. But if you're so happy with all of this city girl free polygamy, ah, 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 then them putting a title on you would not upset you enough to make you make some calls to make sure that stops happening. I don't believe that. I don't believe that some of the women, because polygamy is a lifestyle Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's also like a trendy word now. Mm -hmm. So y'all teach Mm -hmm. it. So girls are just saying it. Or people are just saying it without really understanding the culture of what that is. Mm-hmm. You know, you know what it remind me of the girl that does the threesome to keep her dude. Yeah, the girl that this is the new version of that. This is that. This is the new version of I'm bisexual until the girl get in the room. No, nah, I think I th- to to what Melissa's point was, she, she's saying women are starting to embrace this. Mm-hmm. Well, I agree, and I think so. I just don't I agree with I, that. And I think that women. I don't, I think that's a small number. It is, but I think this is because we kind of going on a tangent. With regards to what your original thing was, I think that society is what tells you what's right and wrong. Mm -hmm. True. And I think that women get judged way more harshly than men. Yes. Correct. So because women get judged way more harshly than men, you got to kind of taper and keep your thoughts to yourself. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Or share them with a real small group of people. Mm -hmm. And so men could be out here and you could fuck a thousand women Mm -hmm. and you a stud. Yeah. If a woman fuck 100 dudes, mm-hmm. she's a harlot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now, today, women are kind of blazing their own trail, so to speak. Yeah. So I think it's starting to be more accepted because they could care less about what society is saying. Mm-hmm. If you were Islamic, women wouldn't bitch about a man having three or four wives because that's what was told to you by society. Right. Society is dictating what's right and wrong for us, for mm-hmm. most of us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so because society has said polygamy is shameful, it's disgusting, it's this, it's that, it's vile, then people bought into that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I understand. So I- your girlfriend has basically got out, not, gotten out of the societal norms to stand on her own too. Yeah. And it could be happiness there. No, she's definitely found happiness in in polygamy. She likes the, she calls it the commitment without the pressure. The women that I know that are involved in that life, they love it too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what goes along with it, y'all little new girls and internet girls ain't about to fool me into thinking that y'all built like that. Y'all not. Yeah. A lot aren't. So, and I don't know how old young Miami is. How old is she? Is she like 28? I don't want to talk to no 28-year-old about she, this. She might. I didn't see No, I'm just that. saying because they, they I, brought up outside of the societal norm. Mm-hmm. Like, like our parents told us, this is right, this is wrong. Mm-hmm. And if you do this right here, you are wrong. Mm-hmm. These young kids aren't necessarily um, abiding by what was taught to them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like these oh, yeah. young kids is gender fluid and all of that new shit. Mm-hmm. So they kind of are more open-minded to alternative lifestyles. hmm not that she's a young kid, she's 28, but you get what I'm saying. I'm not talking to no 28 year old about none of that shit. No. That's me. No. You 28 year olds are still trying to figure out who the fuck y'all are. Y'all still think that y'all have time on your side. They do. It's not, y'all are not exempt. All of us were there. When mm-hmm. I was 27, 28, I said to myself, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to find a girl who don't go through my phone. <laughs> <laughs> 
you know what, this shit. You know, I'm going to find a girl that don't argue about everything. Like, that, that's what I was saying at 28. Mm. At around 36, 37, You're I had a clear assessment of the field. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what I liked, what I didn't what, like, and what, what I you could would deal take. with, yep, what exactly. I couldn't deal with, how to go about procuring certain things, how to speak to people. Like, it's very nuanced. Yeah, at 28, I might have felt like there was a lot of threesomes that I wanted to have. At 36, nah. Yeah. Wasn't same. wasn't the same. At 28, I may have thought I would have responded to certain situations a certain way if I were just talking them out. By the time I was 38, I had been in situations I would have never fathomed. And you kind of know how feelings and emotions and love mm -hmm. and shit could just come into and play. You, and you act differently. Like like you said, you'd have talked it out saying, yo, if this happens, I'm going to do this. I'm out no matter what. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. But now you've been through it two, three times. Yeah. yeah. So, so what I'm saying about grown up, like, still grounded in so, what your moral system was from when you were a kid. It's still grounded in, you know what I'm saying, what your um, view of right and wrong is. What she's talking about is polygamy based on um, a, 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 a social acceptance. And it's not socially accepted because somebody told you 20, 30 years ago that that's wrong and you shouldn't be doing that. Would you be able to do it? Have a polygamous relationship? Yes. I'm asking the room. I Flip. doubt it. Flip. I doubt. Would you be able to do it? No. Ice. I could do it if um, she ain't no. That's not polygamy. <laughs> you asking that's, that's, that's not polygamy. Parks. No. no. Melissa. It's a lot of work. But to answer the question, no. I want to like try it. it. Sounds like a dude. Like your dog. Try it. A lot mm -hmm. of people be swingers. They be happily married for thirty it. and forty years, dog. Because one of the biggest reasons for couples breaking up is infidelity. Would anyone in here swing? No. No. Oh they got swinger no. parties and swinger boat parties and shit. No. Everywhere. I wouldn't swing, but I, I definitely think I could handle polygamy. Let's go, Mel. M4. Yeah. Yes. It appears that young Miami was able to quickly mobilize media coverage in her favor in order to silence DJ academics and force him to retract his statement and apologize. This shows the power of celebrity and the ability of celebrities to control their public image. Joe Budden's comments on the situation also reflect a broader cultural shift towards acceptance of non-traditional relationships and a rejection of societal norms that dictate that there can only be one main partner. It is important to note that this acceptance of polyamory is not without its own set of issues as the complexities of navigating multiple relationships can be difficult for all parties involved. The relationship dynamics between P. Diddy, Young Miami, and any other potential partners may be affected by the fact that P. Diddy is a wealthy individual. Wealth can certainly play a role in determining the parameters of a relationship, particularly when it comes to issues of power and control. It is possible that a wealthy individual, such as P. Diddy, may have more social and financial capital, which in turn can make their partners more open to the idea of polyamory. This could be because a wealthy partner may be able to provide financial stability and a certain lifestyle that some individuals may find appealing. Additionally, wealth can also be used as a means of control or manipulation in a relationship, which may make some partners more willing to comply with a non-traditional relationship structure such as polyamory. On the other hand, it is also possible that a wealthy individual's partners may be more open to polyamory simply because they are attracted to that person and may not be swayed by their wealth. Additionally, it is also possible that the individual's wealth has no effect on the dynamics of the relationship and that the partners are open to the idea of polyamory independently of the wealth of their partner. It's important to remember that every relationship is unique and the dynamics of a polyamorous relationship involving a wealthy individual will depend on the specific individuals involved and their personal circumstances. It's also important to note that consent is fundamental in any type of relationship and that all parties involved should be aware and comfortable with the dynamics of the relationship. However, the incident with DJ Academics and Young Miami highlights the ways in which women particularly women of color, are often policed and shamed for their sexual choices and relationships. Young Miami's ability to quickly mobilize media coverage in her favor and silence her critic is a powerful reminder 
that women should have agency over their own bodies and be able to make their own choices without fear of judgment or backlash. Overall, Joe Budden's response to the situation highlights the complexities of polyamorous relationships and the importance of agency and consent in all sexual relationships. It also serves as a reminder that celebrities, particularly women, have the power to shape their own narratives and control the way they are perceived by the public.